In this video, I am going to show you how to build better habitat enclosures in Planet Zoo. This guide is going to be broken up into sections from how to make habitats look better in general to little tips I personally use that will help you when creating your enclosures. The first section of this video is going to be the simple fact that foliage is king. And just a little quick example of this can be seen here. You can see I've got a wombat habitat. These are gap. Now foliage can be used to cover gaps, especially rock work. Um, your animals will not be able to climb most of the rocks as long as you do them steep enough and you, you provide that habitat enclosure for an animal what can't climb, like you don't be having monkeys and then trying to block them off with rocks. I'm sure you get the point of that already, but foliage is real king. So we've got a habitat here and if we go and add the foliage, you can see how much better this habitat looks with a lot of foliage in. We've covered the gap here. Let me just redo that for you. So there's a gap here, remember. We've covered that with rock work and foliage and all this foliage around here just makes everything more stand out, more natural looking, more realistic, and most importantly, just generally better. Just practice getting better with your foliage placement and your rock work. It is really important when creating habitats. Just a little tip here, my favorite rock is this. It's the four rock out of the aquatic pack. And in particular, these. So we've got this here and this here. These are the four rock, aquatic four rock. Now you can do a lot of things with these. Um, I'll just re-add the foliage here to show you what I've done. I've like buried them into the ground and created like this pebble effect so they look like falling stones down the banking this is a great way to cover stuff and it's a great way to um to look like you've got pebbles in um water environments as well in, in an enclosure where you've got water in you can see if i just take it away again like that you can see all these jagged edges if we didn't have those rock works it just looks jagged it just doesn't look nice does it but with it added, it just covers it up nicely. It kind of looks like a falling bank of pebbles. Here you can see I've dug it into the ground and I've also added some foliage pieces here. It's as simple as that. Dig it into the ground and just look. They just look like little pebbles, little kind of like stones. And these can be used in many, many ways. And I like to actually combine these. You can see it's like a desert environment down here, but there's this. Now this is my one of my favourite foliage pieces, this is the drint grass, there's two types of drint grasses, um, there's kind of like, like a desert colour drint grass as well as this lighter colour greenery drint grass and I just think it looks really good. So if I just grab this, let me just put um, a line to surface on and we've got our four rocks here. Now I'm going to hold shift and I'm just going to lower that down and you can see how it just fills the gaps in the four rocks. again making it look more natural and more realistic. I know I'm showing you the same habitat. I'll give you some more examples in a sec, but this is another example of how to deal with rock work. Again, look at the top of what I've got here. I've got this four rock again placed in there. So it kind of looks like the rock is coming away or kind of like been chiseled away. But most importantly, I've got two types of colored rocks. I've mixed two colors and this is what I would suggest doing in all your rock work no matter what you're doing this really works well when creating a water fountain as well like a big water feature combine two different colored rocks another example would be this habitat we created by the way anything you see in this video i have created and my steam workshop link is in the description if you want to have it in your own zoos but hopefully you don't and you're going to take on these tips and build them for yourself and you can see if i just zoom in here Again, what for done, four rocks. We've got them under the water to give it a more textured depth. And we've got them here at the bank of the water, combining with foliage, rock and foliage, rock and foliage. As you can see, very, very important. And obviously, I know I've said it before, but I really do love these four rocks. You can see I've even done it at the front here to kind of like make it into like a, um, a little planter area. Again, just giving variety. You don't need all your enclosure full of foliage and rocks that's not what i'm saying sometimes less is more and with this habitat i've just done little patches here and there to make little areas stand out and while we're at it change your terrain don't have the same terrain throughout go into your terrain tool and select different ones lower the size down 
And you can see I've done here, done it here, I've done it with soil as well as sand. Make it look like your animals will come out. This is the main, um, the main hard shelter for the animals. Make it look like they come out and they've worn the terrain away and they've gone into the water like that. Again, realism and just makes it look better. Right, let's talk about custom walls, custom barriers and custom fences. And this habitat right here for the foxes is a perfect example. We've got custom barriers, custom fences, and of course, we've got custom walls. I think you're understanding the theme here. Using custom things in Planet Zoo really does make your habitat come alive. And I'm going to build one right here, brand new, for you in real time. And what I like to use is the mesh pieces. So if we just type in mesh here. Now, forget about these because they've already got wood on them. We want the, uh, where is it? Do, do, do. We want this one, for example. We're going to use this, and it depends what animal you're building for and the size of your habitat, but just get creative. Let your creative juices flow in. So we'll place that down, and we'll click on it. Now, the default color is gray. We're going to change that to black just to make it pop and stand out a little bit more, the color on the mesh. Now we're going to go into wood. Now, I think the conservation pieces are really, really good. I think I've got them favorited, actually. We're at it. Here they are. So we're going to use these. Now, all we have to do is line them up. This is obviously a very basic Planet Zoo um, building right here. But I see a lot of people st still using the in-game barriers. Now, the in-game barriers, to me, are just absolutely awful. They're just... Yeah, there's, you can't really work with them well, you can't build paths near them, and yeah, it's better to use a null barrier and create a custom barrier yourself. But by the way, if you want to learn how to use null barriers and, and a really detailed tutorial on custom barriers and fences and stuff, then I've got one on my channel. Go and find it, it shouldn't be hard. In fact, I'll leave it in the description below. Right, back to this now, and we want to just place that there that there and you can see we've already got like a mediocre mediocre custom barrier going on here aren't we we'll place this in here but yeah just get creative you can do this with walls and well everything you can create custom and it just makes everything just stand out and look a little bit better now if you really want to get creative you can do something like this so you can give the impression, let me just turn angle snap on down here. You can give the impression that this is functional. So obviously it's not because it's custom, but it will stop your animals getting out. Remember, it will, I promise. So if we do something like this here, and we'll go back into mesh again. I just love the mesh pieces in this game, I really do. Select this one, I think. Slide that over. Slide that down. In fact, is the bigger one? There is a bigger one. We'll go square, actually. So we've got one of them and one of them. I'll slide this in like this. Make sure no bits are poking out. Now, as you can see, it gives kind of like the appearance that your animals if they was to climb they couldn't get out the top here and plus your guests can't throw stuff like rubbish into the habitat all you have to do then is select all of this merge your scenery into group and you've got your first piece all you have to do then is duplicate it over like this and you can turn it however you want make a nice little circular out of it you can do that and then delete parts if you wish like that and yeah that's how you create a, a custom barrier and just get creative with it you can see from this habitat i've created custom barriers custom glass pieces and custom walls and it just makes everything look much much better forget and get rid of your in-game barriers get used to creating your own and using no barriers next up we've got hard shelters now i'm very aware that this video is going to be quite a long video so i'm going to speed up these last few points quite quickly but if this video has helped you then please hit that like button it helps my channel and this video a lot and if you're new around here and you like planet zoo videos then hit that subscribe button if you've seen any of my builds before you will realize that i like to make a focal point for hard shelters 
all the building you can see here it does class as hard shelter but we've separated it with guest shelter as well the guests can come in through this point and we've got the habitat gate here and it looks like we're actually carrying a box here i don't know what them two are doing they're looking very suspicious there and then the rest of this habitat is all hard shelter for our animals and with this habitat, we've got a main building in it, but it's not hard shelter. It's actually shelter and a viewing area for our guest. But what I'm trying to get at, and my main point in a nutshell, is have a main building, whether it be hard shelter or guest shelter or a viewing point, which focuses on your habitat, which draws your guest attention. Think about if you was walking through a zoo in real life and you saw a building like this, this would instantly get your attention. And be patient and spend a lot of time on it. Remember, detailing is very important in Planet Zoo. You can see a lot of detailing has gone into this one building, but I hate to blow my own horn here, it's damn good. And it kind of gives habitats and enclosures a center point a main center point where everything goes on and what you know attracts every guest to the habitat i promise you if you spend a lot of time on a main building and just fill in the gaps your habitat will look amazing and once you've got your main building in you can then kind of carry on with that same theme like for instance this is kind of like a british cathedral church kind of theme and you can see it have carried on the same theme throughout the habitat and everything just kind of like fits in and gels the second to last tip i want to give you to improve your habitat creations is custom paths we've already talked about custom buildings we've already talked about custom walls and custom fences and custom barriers but now it's all about custom paths and something like this what you see in here is quite basic to build so let's go in and have a look what i've actually done shall we let's bring up the user interface and you can see there's eight objects in this block if i just duplicate it you can see what it's like very simple you probably realize what i've done already we've just got plaster wall pieces laid on the floor and we've got these plaster blocks a different color giving it kind of like a stone pebble effect and it's modern it, it looks good and it suits the rest of the habitat as well and same with colors you can see the color themes here these rocks are the same color as these bricks in these paths this trim on this planter and the edge of the path is the same color as the bricks in the paths which is the same color as the rocks. You can see the theme here, can't you? Color coordinating and custom paths will make your zoos come alive. And remember, if you do want to upload anything to the, the workshop page on um, Steam, then your paths will not be included anyway. So why not create a custom paths and then whoever downloads it on the other side can then place the paths because they know where the paths are meant to be. There's many ways to do custom paths. You can have a more modern setting like this. Or you can have more of a rustic authentic setting like this and this is not actually a custom path this is an in-game path and i've just thrown stuff on it so you can free see i've thrown these kind of like autumn leaves on it what um came in a recent pack and i've just thrown these pebbles like we talked about before and added some mushrooms and some different foliage if you don't want to create a full custom path just do anything you can to spruce up the pathing system in this game and make it look a little bit more, you know, realistic and make it stand out a little bit more. And going back to what my last point, which was hard shelter and buildings, you can see here, instead of having a massive building, I've got two little separate hard shelters for whatever animal I want to put in there. Yeah, so create a custom path. If you don't want to create a custom path or you can't, then just throw stuff on the path. What makes the path look better? I hope that makes sense. And my very last tip for creating better habitats in Planet Zoo is have fun and relax and don't rush. If you're creating something where you're not enjoying it, then stop creating it. Why are you pushing yourself? I know it's a bit of a weird tip, but honestly, I've done it myself. I have many abandoned projects, but then I have projects like this and think about a theme like a tropical desert island shipwreck theme, which I had so much fun creating this habitat. And that's what playing video games and Planet Zoo is all about, having fun, right? If you get a mind block and you can't think what to build, come back to it. Don't force yourself to build anything. Don't rush anything. And most importantly, I've said it before, have fun. My name's Adam, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. 
If you're new around here, then hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if this video did help you in any way, and I will catch you in the next Planet Zoo video.